The first U.S. deportation flight to Venezuela in years flew from Texas to Caracas on Wednesday, part of the latest approach by the Biden White House to tighten border control. Earlier this month, the U.S. announced an agreement with Venezuela to deport its citizens who enter illegally and send them home, a breakthrough despite frosty diplomatic relations between the two sides. About 130 Venezuelans were deported, according to U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement. Corey Price is the senior official in charge of the removal operation. These are the consequences for entering our country unlawfully. Uh, unfortunately, though, we think that you know, take their, their lives and put them in the hands of smugglers and their life savings and put them in the hands of smugglers are only going to get a, a flight home on one of these flights like this uh, to go back to their country. In September, Washington said it would grant temporary deportation relief and access to work permits to nearly half a million Venezuelans who arrived on or before July 31st. Later, authorities decided those who came after that date would face deportation. The Venezuelan government has said it will care for repatriated citizens. On Wednesday, Venezuelan state TV showed the plane's passengers receiving medical checks and being registered by immigration officials. Since Biden took office in 2021, the U.S. has grappled with record numbers of migrants attempting to cross the U.S.-Mexico border illegally, part of it fueled by a sharp rise in Venezuelans fleeing economic and political instability in their home country, which has been slapped with U.S. sanctions. More than 380,000 Venezuelans have been caught crossing the U.S.-Mexico border illegally since 2021, far higher than only a year or two before, with 2,000 in 2019 and 1,000 in 2020.